Hello my friends, I thought I would come on and do a no contact reading, like a situationship reading, so let's see what comes out. I'm going to use this deck, um, it says Broken Mirrors, so you could resonate with counterparts perhaps. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to see what your person is currently going through, oh my goodness. I can already see, I can already see what your person is going through. We have Hiding Their True Feelings. So this is someone who's, you know, not opening up right now about how they feel. They're protecting themselves. We see this jellyfish type thing. So this person could be very much hiding their feelings in order to protect themselves. We also have rock bottom. So your person is going through karma. Um, it says jail, legal issues, life falling apart, job loss, um, problems with their car. Take it as it resonates. Karmic lessons, trying to wake this person up. To, to the fact that their life wasn't like this when you were in it. And even if it was, it didn't feel like this because you were in it. Interesting. So, my friends, let's see how this person that you are in no contact with is currently feeling about you. I'm going to see how you're feeling too. <laughs> so let's see how they're feeling first. We have soul contract. Oh my gosh. Determined. I just, I just did a little short where I said, who's coming towards you in love? And it was the Knight of Pentacles and it was someone who was very determined. Um, so this person, look at this. Soul contract, soulmates, partnership, spiritual union. So right now this person is going through some type of awakening where they're learning karmic lessons and they're starting to awake to the fact that you and this person have a soul connection. This is someone determined to come back towards you. This is crazy. Um, we do have mind games here. So this could be someone who's realizing that maybe, you know, they acted from an immature place. Maybe they, it says testing you, analyzing you. So this could have been someone who tested you in some way or because they were coming from a very immature place, they could have been acting in a very immature way. Um, when, you, when you were in distorted energy you do things that at the sense they make time but looking back they didn't make sense and they were just you know you reacting from a place of wounding or distorted energy anyway this person could be spending a lot of time reflecting about what happened between the two of you and maybe you know they're realizing that they were playing mind games in a way very interesting high value how they're feeling about you high value the empress Oof. I knew it. <laughs> Let's see how you're feeling about them. That came out with a bang. Very interesting. You could know that this person is going through this. This is how you're feeling about them. It says chaos, job loss, everything crumbling. And we have that jail. So you could know that your person isn't doing well. You could intuitively know it or you could know it because of social media or because you have friends that talk to this person. Interesting. Are you snooping on your person? <laughs> we have snooping. I'm not here to judge you. You do you. I almost said you do you, boo. And I don't ever call anyone boo, so I'm not sure if your person would say that. You do you, boo. When that happens to me when I'm channeling, it's usually there's someone in the comment section who's like, that's my nickname, or that's what I always say. You do you, boo. Um, drive by stalking social media psychic tarot readings. So maybe because of tarot readings, <laughs> maybe because of me, you know that they're going through karma. And you know, this is a sign that you're trusting your intuition if you don't know this for sure and you're trusting in it. Um, oh my gosh, we have communication. So it feels like you want communication from this person. Let's get another one for how you're feeling. Thinking of you. Crying, nostalgia, missing you. So you could be going through chaos in your own head. It's possible this person is going through a lot of karma and you're picking up on it energetically. And you could be spending a lot of time thinking about them. Very interesting. Let's go back to your person. <laughs> oh, look, dating. You might be start you might be thinking about dating new people. Um it says new love. So you could be thinking about putting yourself out there. Like, what if this person doesn't wake up? What if they don't come back? 
Let's go back to your person for a minute. Look at your person's energy. What are you? Deuces. Fed up, cutting ties, walking away. So you could have walked away from this person or maybe they walked away from you. Duality. Bananas do represent duality. Um, I know because of this deck right here. <laughs> Um, so it could be that, you know, you guys hit a wall fighting, fighting. You guys could have hit a wall where there was a tower moment. Um, and now this person is in reflection. Let's see what else they're thinking about. They're thinking about you. There it is. High value. In separation, they're realizing you're the empress, beautiful, sexy, abundant, confident. Pictures, regrets, reminiscing about you. You see? Do you see how your energy is connected? Your person is going through karma, thinking about you, what's coming out in your energy. Same thing. You feel it. You intuitive prince prince or princess or whatever you priestess, you intuitive person is what I meant to say. Maybe you are an intuitive princess. I've never said that before. Um, but yeah, you're both thinking about each other. You're both pulling on each other's energetic cords, the red string of fate I'm seeing. Aww. Spiritual attack, look, your person. No, I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. I'm sorry, spirit. I shouldn't laugh. Spiritual attack. When you don't listen, <laughs> the spirit spirit says we have to work harder to show you. Karma, divine intervention, facing their demons. The universe, the universe knows what's up. <laughs> the universe is like that friend you always needed to look out for you, you know? Um, in one of those shows that I watch, the girls will be like, do you have my back? Can you go tell them that you have my back? And I was thinking the universe has your back. Like the universe knows what's up. The universe has your back, my friend. Let's go back to you. At least you know why you're thinking of them. We have Netflix and chill. So for some of you, you could be spending time with someone else and chill it says you could be seeing someone new very interesting we have trust fight sorry fighting and it says trust issues one-sided detached so you could be feeling very detached from this person we're doing the reading about look spiritual attack you know it <laughs> you know um so you could be feeling very detached spending time with someone else and maybe that's why this person is so heavily thinking about you, because energetically they can feel you pulling away, is what I'm hearing. All right, let's do one more for you, and then we'll get tarot. One more for you. Oh, missing you, wanting to come into union. And we also have rock bottom for how you're feeling about them. So it's like you know they're not doing well. And you could be the type of person who's like, I know my person's not doing well. I want to reach out. Like, I want to tell them that they're okay. Um, but look, hiding your true feelings because you know that they need to come out of that hole themselves. You know, they need to pick themselves up off a of rock bottom themselves. That's, you know, if you're counterparts, that's the whole thing is you're supposed to focus on yourself, which is supposed to help awaken them. Um, when you're focusing on yourself and your soul mission. Um, and yeah, we have deep emotions secretly in love. That's you. So they started out with this energy. Now you have it. So maybe you're someone who's, you know, in your ego right now saying, I don't ever want that person back. They're not good for me. Um, we all have free will. You do you. You do you, boo. <laughs> I don't know why that keeps coming up. Interesting. One more for their side. So let's look at their thoughts about you. We have sick and tired. They're sick and tired of being away from you. Look at that poor dog. It's like when your dog, you know, when you're, when you go on vacation and your dog, I've watched my family go on vacation and I've seen how the dogs act. This person is sick and tired of the distance between you. Reconciliation. I knew it. I freaking knew it. They're sick of being away from you. When they hit this point, when they hit rock bottom and they're tired of their dog days, I'm hearing the dog days are over by Florence. Is that what it is? Um, reconciliation, harmony, resolving issues, getting back together, your person. Let's get tarot. I'm going to leave those out so that I 
All right, so I'm going with my light sears tarot. Oh my goodness. Right away we have, well, first of all, I can see the lovers. But we have the five of swords, so someone in their head about you. Someone thinking about this. Remember that mind games card? So this person could be realizing, you know, some of what they were doing wasn't right. Or they could be realizing that you weren't playing mind games with them. Very interesting. So let's see your person's energy. We're going to cut the deck. Oh my gosh, of course we have the Empress. <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's exactly how they're seeing you. So of course the Empress is there. And look. Somebody walked away, that duality card. So this person is heavily thinking about you. No one compares to you. Remember that card. Wherever it went. High value. Right here. Empress energy. Wanting to reconnect with you. All right. Let's see your person's energy. Oof. We have the Knight of Wands. Them wanting to rush in and talk to you. Um, they're in a bit of impulsive behavior, so this may be the energy where, you know, look at this, two of cups, it came out in reverse, so they're feeling disconnected from you. They're sick and tired of feeling disconnected from you, like this little puppy. They want their love. Um, we also have king of pentacles on the bottom, very positive, um, showing that this person is working on their own stability. They're gaining new perspective, hanged man energy, so very nice. So that's their current energy. Let's look at yours. What is your energy, my friends? What is your energy? Oh! We have the lovers. Ooh, you guys. So I'm seeing a lot. Like, I'm seeing... Look at what we have here. Oh my gosh, for how you feel about this person. Ah! Oh. match you could both be the same element doesn't have to be earth sign wow look at how you're feeling about them we have the hierophant and the six of cups so you're missing them you're nostalgic about them hierophant energy you feel like there's a higher purpose to this connection and what's happening here the lovers oh my gosh oh i can feel the love i can feel it um, we have the Four of Swords in reverse, so you're feeling like, you know, Ace of Swords, you want communication just like that communication card. You know, you're tired of, you're sick and tired of being away from them too. For some of you, I heard you could be seeing someone else because the first thing I saw was this. The Lovers, the Four of Swords in reverse, and the Ace of Swords. So it could be that you are seeing someone new. And that you've come out of that kind of single energy and are putting yourself back out there. That's just for some of you. For some of you, I feel like you know exactly what this connection is. You know. And you know that you have to focus on yourself so that this person can grow and heal and come back to you. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Six, Queen of Pentacles. And they're the King of Pentacles. You're their match. That's what I'm hearing. All right, so let's see what's going on between the two of you. So we'll look at shared energy. Shared energy. We have judgment and the king of swords. Yes, clarity. Seeing things quite clearly. Shared energy. You could be releasing this person and they could be like, oh, it's time to come back with the truth. It's time to come back and communicate. Um, we see both of you trying to be your authentic selves here. Uh, judgment shows a possible renewal, like I said, um, a conversation. You're both reflecting about this judgment. Very interesting. And we have the Seven of Cups and the Four of Wands, shared energy. So it feels like you're both, you both know this connection feels different. Four of Wands, you know it feels different. Very interesting. There's that energy, though. For some of you, you could be putting yourself out there, um, seeing other people, which is fine. You do you. You do you, boo. <laughs> Let's go near future energy between you. Near future energy. Oh. We 
we have temperance in the sun. The sun will come out <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Um, that's very interesting because what's coming for you is balance. With this connection, we see the balancing of feminine and masculine energies. Um, we see being patient with love. We see clarity and truth and healing energy. Happiest card in the deck. Happy times ahead. Very interesting. Let's see how this person is feeling about you. Let's get into it. How is this person feeling about you? Oh, Page of Swords right away. They're learning about themselves. They're learning about you. They could be watching you online. Um, this person feels like they have to communicate something with you. Maybe they don't feel ready. Queen of Swords. Maybe they... Look, do you see how the counterparts are popping out? That's magic. That is so telling that this is, you know, we could be dealing with divine counterparts here. I think it's really interesting how the matches are popping out one after another. Um, very symbolic of growth between the two of you. Anyway, it feels like this person is thinking about how they can reach out to you, but look, they're worried because to me, it looks like they think you're protecting your energy from them right now. That's how they're seeing you, that you're protecting your energy from them. So maybe, well, this is no contact. Um, amazing. They could be worried about approaching you. King of Wands, you could have someone else in your energy. All right, let's see how you're feeling about them. How are you feeling about this person? We have the Three of Cups in reverse, which is the energy of... You were willing to give more to this than they were. Um, with the Three of Cups in reverse, you know... They, they were your wish fulfillment, but it feel, feels like there wasn't flow. There wasn't, um, it's like this person wasn't giving enough to you or wasn't giving as much as you were. So it does feel like you felt a disconnect with this person um, where maybe you felt like you were giving more or you were, you know how people say like, I like you way more than you like me. Don't make me look like a mug um, or whatever people say. <laughs> I watch too much reality television. Um, anyway, to me, it feels like there's a disconnect here. Let's see what this person's intentions towards you are. Five of Swords. All right. The Emperor. Holy crap. Oh, we have Six of Swords. So their intentions are to come towards you and to talk to you what's really interesting is the five of swords and the emperor coming out um who haven't i seen i haven't seen the king of cups yet so your person may be still working on their emotions the king of cups is the only one i haven't seen um but for intentions i feel like this person intends to come towards you and make things right take action towards you the emperor offer you stability I think really this person's intentions are to master this five of swords energy. So mastering the way they self-sabotage connections. My dog is being crazy right now. I had to pause it because she was just barking. Like, I know my dogs bark, but she was just like, bark, bark. <laughs> you heard it, you know. Um, so yeah, I feel like this person intends to stabilize themselves and to kind of take control of that five of swords energy um it can also be this person wanting to wanting healing after that energy <clears throat> so let's see their next actions my throat is closing over what are their next actions didn't want to come out whatever it was we have the seven of pentacles i don't know what it was i feel like it could have been the I feel like it could have been the Nine of Wands, which is the final push. But instead, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the person who is on the Seven of Pentacles card, the Knight of Cups. And that is, I haven't seen the King of Cups, but the Knight of Cups, this person's next actions would be to share something with you emotionally. Um, I'm going to go to another part. As I was saying, look, same person. 
Um, we have the Nine of Cups on the bottom, so it feels like they want to bring positivity to this. They may come in with a small gesture. Knight of Cups for actions is wanting to rekindle things. It's wanting to declare something. Um, we do see a message here and an offer of emotion. So like I said, some, some type of emotional declaration. Seven of Pentacles shows that this person wants to invest in this. So they want to, you know, they want to invest in this and so that something comes to fruition. Do you notice how my voice has gone? <clears throat> Interesting. So near future energy we had. Did I do near future? The sun and temperance. Yes, near future. Clarity and balance. <laughs> near future. Um, I want to see what this Knight of Cups wants to say. It seems like they're coming in in a more positive way. Eight of Swords. Interesting. So they don't want they don't want no contact anymore. That tired, that dog card. Very symbolic of the Ten of Wands here. This person is tired of being away from you. Eight of Swords, they want to end no contact. They may be communicating with you that they were holding back because they were scared or because they felt like something else was going on. It's self-imposed. So they want to talk to you about how they, you know, protected themselves when they possibly didn't need to. Um, anyway, let's get another one. Show me this Knight of Cups. I'm not going to take all those, Spirit. Give me one. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. So the other cards that came out, there was too many, but King of Queen of Pentacles was on top. Um, Ace of Cups. So this person, Queen of Wands, what is happening? Now I've seen all the queens. Um, I, when I saw the King of Wands, I said, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw the King of, the Queen of Wands. There you are. Um, so they do. There's that cup that I called to on this card. It's right here. Them following their heart, wanting to express this is emotional renewal. So remember I said, why aren't we seeing the King of Cups? Because maybe this person has to go through an emotional renewal before they can communicate with you. Listen to my throat. All right, so what does what is the future of this no contact connection? What is the future of this no contact connection or this connection that's in no contact? We have the world completion. Whoop. Completion, fulfillment, cycle coming to an end, closure. The distance closing. You could be at a distance from this person. You don't have to be. Let's get one more. What are you? Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Oh. What does the future hold in this no contact situation? Wish fulfillment. You both felt it for each other. It came out in both of your energies. And look, eight of wands, rapid movement, rapid growth, forward movement, rapid change, communication, messaging back and forth. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful strength strengthening your connection and justice beautiful beautiful my friends so let's get you a few moon 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 cards for this no contact connection what is coming surrender to the divine divine counterparts much that always comes out when I'm doing a divine counterpart reading. Step out of your comfort zo zone, north node. So it could be that your person has to step out of their comfort zone. Maybe they need to elevate. Maybe it's uncomfortable for them to take accountability or to take action, things like that. It could also be that this whole journey is out of your comfort zone, you know? Maybe what's going on with this person, if you do resonate with twin flames, maybe it's out of your comfort zone. We have don't let your past hold you back, south node. So it could be that this person in the past hurt you. And, you know, it could be that spirit saying don't let the past with this person hold you back from this new beginning. I'm not here to tell you you have to have a new beginning with someone who doesn't deserve a new beginning with you. I am not. 
the people that I'm channeling are usually people who want reconciliation. So if you're someone who has wants reconciliation, but you still have a lot of fears about what happened with this person in the past, those will hold you back. I'm here to tell you. Um, fears do hold you back. And Spirit's saying, don't let your fear of what happened in the past dictate your future with this person. Could also be that your person's um it could also be that your person is letting what they did in the past to hold them back from coming forward. We have it's time to release negativity. So if you're someone with some negative thoughts about your person or some resentments, it's better to heal those yourself or within. Um, because you know, we don't always get apologies from people. Like sometimes people go out of our lives and the only way we can get closure is to heal that wound and forgive and release it ourselves. Um, but anyway, that's symbolic that there could still be some negativity or negative mindsets here. And we have show the world the real you. A personal issue reaches resolution. Interesting. So I think it's interesting that we have show the world the real you and a personal issue reaches resolution. Because one of the things that's happening in the current energy is that it feels like the two of you are waking up into your authentic selves because we had that King of Swords energy. So it could be that you and this person are still learning how to be your authentic selves and show the world that. And we have Believe in the Impossible on the bottom. We'll get one more. Your hard work is paying off. So those of you losing hope, don't lose hope. Your hard work is paying off. I'm going to leave it there, my friends. I love you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.